Hi guys, Silk Dominic Hawkins here from Raining Spirit Dojo and I get the pleasure of presenting a practice today for the 14 day spiritual practice challenge. So, what I get to do is explore movement and meditation through movement. And I teach a martial arts style called Hoshinden Jutaijutsu, eight phases, and we explore how different movements evoke different emotions and how the vibrations of those emotions ripple out into our psychology. So, I'm going to take you through four very simple kata. The word kata just means pattern, it's a Japanese term. And we're going to start by just finding somewhere where we can stand, that we can imagine and picture the lines of a compass coming out from our feet in these different directions. And we're going to study the four basic elements that we explore. The first one is going to be earth. So finding yourself centered somewhere and you can visualize or maybe you've drawn these lines extending from your feet in compass directions. We first start off, we're going to bring our hands up here and we move off to the side and place one hand in front and we form a very sharp triangle from our feet up to our hips and then out and up here. And we go back and we go again this triangle and back. And the other side and back. And the feeling that we're looking for is just a triangle structure so that we can feel solid and rooted. And this front hand has a line that goes all the way to my back foot and up to this shoulder and forwards, like a solid pyramid. The next element that we'll introduce, and we'll just do a little small demo now, and then I'll take you through them again in a few minutes. The next element is going to be the fire element, which moves forward 45 degrees, it expands and engulfs and consumes around objects. So starting again, visualizing the points of these compass and the lines that emanate from it, we're going to step diagonally forward, my opposite foot and my opposite hand. Here, and then I engulf the space. Step one, step two. Step one, One, two, and the other side, opposite foot, opposite hand, one, and two, one, and two. third element to look at today in our four element basic understanding is the wind element. So the wind element dominates the north and south lines and it consumes and creates vacuums. It confuses and twists and turns. So using this compass direction and this visualization in our mind, we're going to step straight back along the south line. One foot steps back and my arm leads in front. I get down low, create wings of flight, and step and turn to face like a 90 degree angle. Again, I step back and my arm extends. My bird hands lift up and I face to the side. fourth element that we're going to observe today 
in the basic introduction, is the water element. So the water element is contracted. It draws back, regains strength and solidity, and then it crashes back as it returns to its original place. Starting where we can visualize these lines emanating from us, from the center of this compass point, the water element dominates the backwards diagonals, rear 45 degrees. It's directly opposing the fire element. We're going to step back and our arms lift up like a splash. Our feet come together. And as we swap feet, we crash back over the central spot. Once again, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm exaggerating the explosion with the hands. So you do as you need to with how your body can move to the opposite side. One, two, three. One, two, three. So now, I'll show you a cycle of the four basic primary elements, the movements, the kata of these, and the purpose of them is to evoke within us the emotions of that element, the qualities of that element. The earth element is solid and structured and static. The fire element is expanding and engulfing and consuming. The wind element is vacuous and void creating and twisting and turning. The water element is contracting and regaining and considering and expressing. So starting again in the center of our compass point, visualizing lines emanating from us in the eight directions. This is how we slowly place the movements together as a form of Qigong. Starting with the earth element. fire element. Wind element. Water element.
watching, hopefully going through these movements in your daily practice will help you evoke the emotional vibrations of the specific qualities that you're looking for. So if you are desiring to experience more structure and solidness and triangle structure in your life, maybe a daily practice of the movement of the structure will create within you a sense of the folk within you, the confidence that you already know. Maybe if what you're desiring is to move forward through life a little bit more, a little bit more engaging, some forward-moving expansion practice through movement could help evoke that innate expansion within you. Maybe if you were desiring to be able to change tact and take someone's opinion and perspective, rethink it and offer them a completely different opportunity, a windy response to thought can be helpful. Perhaps you're finding that you get very overwhelmed and you find yourself pushed back on the back foot by life sometimes. Rather than being continually pushed back, can you take the pressure that forces you into a new place and rebuild yourself and return to where you were with a newfound sense of strength and energy. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.